This video explains how to delete duplicate rows based on the values in a certain column of a data frame. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains two columns, X and Y. And you can also see that the column X contains duplicates. Now let's assume that we want to keep only one unique row based on the values in the column X. Then we can apply the duplicated function as you can see in line six of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our data frame, and then I'm using square brackets to subset our data frame, and then I'm using the bang operator to return all rows that are not duplicated. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object, which is called data default. So if you run line six of the code, this new data frame is appearing at the top right, and we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data frame subset that contains only three rows of our input data frame and the values in the column X are unique. You can also see that the values in the column Y are not ordered. So we have removed some of the higher values from our data. So sometimes you might want to keep only the highest values in Y for each group in the column X. And this is what I'm showing in the next example, starting in line nine of the code. So first, in the first step of this example, I'm using the order function to order our data in decreasing order based on the column Y. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data ordered. And we can print this data frame to the bottom by running line 10. And then you can see that our data still contains all the rows. However, the column Y has been ordered decreasingly from the highest value to the lowest value. And now if you apply the same code to this data frame as we did in the first example, as you can see in line 12 of the code, another data frame subset is returned. As you can see by printing this new data frame, in line 13. And now you can see at the bottom that we have created another data frame subset, which contains only unique values in the column X. However, we have always kept the highest value in the column Y. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.